you're looking for a mobile gaming controller for your phone, you're gonna wanna know why the Backbone one is not the one to get. Let's get into it. Elan 234 Elan. Is that how you say it? I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name. My bad. Anyway, by the way, keep going with YouTube. You have crazy edits. I appreciate you. It's good to see somebody appreciate some some high quality <coughs> Jesus. High quality videos. <laughs> so Backbone decided to silently drop basically an updated version of the Backbone 1 mobile gaming controller that addresses a lot of the issues with the first generation that was released in 2021. In this video, I will go over what's updated in the Gen 2 version and what's the difference between the PlayStation Edition and the regular one. The Gen 2 was mainly to accommodate the new iPhone 15 line that came out back in September that was released with a USB-C port instead of the beloved lightning cable. The Gen 1 version did always come with the USB-C version for Android users, but not advertised to work with the new iPhones. The Gen 2 shows on the front of the box that the USB-C version will work for both iPhone and Android devices. Lovely. So if you're looking to get one, link in the description, know that the Gen 2 with USB-C only works with iPhone 15 and up, and of course other Android devices, but iPhone 14 and below are going to need the Lightning version. Extremely important distinction. Almost everyone I know uses something to protect their phone, and I'm sure that's the case for you as well. Gen 2 fits almost all cases now, whereas the Gen 1, if you had a case, it would not fit and you would have to take it off every time you want to use it, which is extremely, extremely annoying and definitely would make me want to use this and pick it up a lot less. There are some third-party adapters that you could buy, but now the Gen 2 comes with these adapters included. Good job, Backbone, but maybe maybe let people know about this next time? Now, this is not a full review of the Backbone 1, but I have had it for a couple days, and I will say I do enjoy it. I like it. Um, it definitely beats using the on-screen controls when I when I play my my the PlayStation remote 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 what's it called remote play remote play using the Backbone one is definitely a lot easier. Uh, it's 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 a better. Um, but I will say I have to get used to the size and the button layout because it's quite different than the DualSense controllers, obviously. Um, but I noticed that when I play games with it, I can, it, it just feels a little bit like I feel disoriented because of the difference in ergonomics. But I mean, once I, once I get used to it and I use it more often, I will give a full well-earned review that the backbone deserves. <laughs> Hopefully this video answers some questions you might've had and clears things up for you. And if it did, Go ahead and uh, like that smash button for your boy. Use my affiliate links in the bio. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Deuces. <laughs>